right? You know, why am I so hungry? You know, like, why am I doing all this? You know, I'm driven by gratitude, you know? I was born in a shitty place. Uh, the only country left in the former Soviet Union that's real, real bad, Belarus. You know, if my parents didn't leave that place, one of three things would have happened to me. I would have been, you know, in jail. You know, with my DNA, three things. Jail, <laughs> killed, very likely, or one of those crazy Russian billionaires that was dominating, right? <laughs> And at 33%, I'm not going to take my chances. For that same stuff, I get on the Wall Street Journal here and get accolades. I'm grateful. I've lived for 30, I've had a 30 year run with little death in my family. Now, unfortunately, most of my grandparents died before. But I'm so damn grateful. Every morning I wake up, I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. It just means so much to me. To have this kind of support is insanity. And I don't take it for granted. And then, when you add a child to that, and a wife that you love, life is so ridiculously good that I'm scared. I almost feel like I'm a Jets fan just to offset it. Fuckers. <laughs> 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 anyway. <laughs> it's very hard for me to turn it off. It's in me. It's always there. I always want to grind. You know, I could have stayed back here and got ready for the talk, but I wanted to stand out there and thank people for coming in. Not because it's cool or interesting, but because I'm fucking thankful. Like, thank you, it's lunchtime. You know? I mean, people are hungry up in here, you know? So, I'm just thankful, and I would say that it's very difficult for me to give you the right answer. What I would say is this. There's nobody in this room, and I promise you this, that is more obsessed of hanging out with 90-year-old people than me. I switch my seats on planes, I roll up on them randomly, you know, you know. <laughs> They're like, I'm like, no, 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 I'm here, please. You know, Sometimes I'm playing things tough because I fall asleep quickly, but I nudge them, you know? And, and I have conversations with people that are in their 80s and 90s all the time. You know why, bro? They've played this game. They've lived it. They're playing the game and played it that we're playing. And here's what I promise you, not one of them has ever told me, and I'm talking about 100 people, I wish I made more money. Not one. They all say the same damn thing, boss. I wish I spent more time with my family, and I wish I didn't work in that factory for 30 years. I hated that fucking place. And so, and you know what? And you know what? I look at these people and I feel sad as shit. You know why? Because they didn't have the out that we all do. The fact that you are right here, right now, South by Southwest, you have no fucking idea how ahead of the rest of the world you are. The fact that you know shit like this puts you in a totally different place. And to me, what's insane about that is this room has no fucking excuses. You know the alternatives. You have the options. They did it. For the entrepreneurs in the 60s and 70s, 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s, they didn't have a shot like we do, and we should be embarrassed if we don't try to make ourselves happy. But the big game is family, and you just gotta try. But there's no right answer for you, for me, you know? Thanks, man. Fortune 5 million. Don't understand Twitter, don't get it. So next week I'm launching. I'm really scared to ask you this problem. You're pitching me right now? Um, no, no, no pitch. I'm asking and you can tell me. I was hoping it's tomorrow, because that's pretty awesome. Okay, ready? Um, WeTweet.com, we tweet for you so you don't have to, offering value-based tweets, tweets on behalf of brands. I hate Do it. Do you think it's massively awful? I hate it. Okay. With every piece of my soul. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know how you help them? Yeah. One by one fucking grinding. Like by continuing to teach and hug. Like call Johnny's, hello Johnny's Pizza. Yeah. Hey Johnny, you need to get your ass on social media. Yeah, but they don't get it. I know, so then you can drive to their place and punch them in the face and tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? It's no, I agree, it's killing me. Like, I really want to have, what can you I You can't do? scale caring. It's not authentic. You can't do what you want. Go to their fucking homes. I mean, I'm trying to. I teach as many classes as I can, but they still don't get it. You can only do so 
much and you grind out and when you see a glimmer of hope, you know, I'm always on stage just looking for somebody who's got that little spark. I'm like, okay, let me get that, you know, yeah. dude. Like, that's what you have to do in those classes. It's gonna, listen, 2007 in here, people were, every question was, Gary, how do we convince everybody that Twitter is valuable? I'm trying to convince my friends that everybody's valuable. And I'm like, well, we don't. You know, you're gonna be the same dude that's gonna be pissed in 2010 when everybody's on Twitter and you're gonna be like, Twitter sold out. It's like a band thing, right? <laughs> There's no selling people on this. They're gonna be in the game because they're gonna have to be. They're gonna be forced into this. So you know what you do? Yeah. Work with people that are curious and interested and get them there early. They're gonna win bigger and more. And that's just the way it is. You're not gonna be able to save the world to understand how to use Twitter Such or whatever it is. Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> the Pisces? Yeah, we wanna save the world. All of you? Who's a Pisces in here that does not want to save the world? Raise your hand. <laughs> not all of you, but you can't scale what you're talking You can't scale authenticity. You can't. All right, yes? You can say something on the 